What's up you guys, it's Steve here and major changes are right now being proposed to the stimulus reconciliation bill. And this is your stimulus package update and your infrastructure bill update. And take a look at these headlines that are coming out last night and now this morning, Manchin lays down demands for the child tax credit. Reports say, in other words, Senator Joe Manchin has already called for a ton of provisions to be cut out, calling for climate action change to be cut out and now also calling for modifications to the child tax credits. And those of you that follow me on the channel saw yesterday articles like this coming out. Joe Manchin is opposed to the centerpiece of the party's climate plans. And we're hearing he said take out climate action provisions just weeks before President Joe Biden has to go to a global summit promoting climate action change. And he's not even going to be able to do it in his own local nation, in his own stimulus package. Man, Senator Joe Manchin really putting President Joe Biden in a compromising position. But take a look, you guys. We're seeing articles like this. Just an hour ago, progressives are responding back. They're swiping at Manchin after his new demands severely limit Biden's child tax credit, and they're calling it cruel. But Senator Joe Manchin, look at the subtitle. Manchin said that last month he does not want the U.S. moving towards an entitlement mentality. And we heard him say he didn't want the United States to become an entitlement society with all of the stimulus, the free money rolling out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But you guys, we're gonna be taking a look at this article in more detail, just came out 17 minutes ago from the time of this recording from Business Insider. Senator Joe Manchin is demanding Biden's child tax credit come with an income cap around 60,000 and a work requirement, reports say. So now, He's cutting down the eligibility. You must be required to work and 60,000 is gonna be the cap for the child tax credit if Joe Manchin has anything to say about it. So you guys, I'm gonna dive into these articles coming out this morning, get you caught up on the latest as to what's going on right now with Senator Joe Manchin proposing slashing stimulus. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second, if you appreciate the news updates, even if maybe not necessarily the content, if you could do me a quick favor, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, helps out my channel a ton, thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Come join the Ram fam, the viewing community. I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on so you know what's happening. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. That is by far the best way to get a hold of me directly if you have any questions. And always ignore the scammers in the comments that try to pose as me and tell you to contact them on WhatsApp and send them money or something, you guys. That's not me, okay? I'm just here to get you caught up on the latest. And with that being said, let's do that. Let's dive right in, get you caught up on the latest as to what's happening right now with proposed major changes by Senator Joe Manchin to stimulus. All right, so we're gonna dive into the details of this article, but before we do, just to clarify, right now Congress has four pending urgent agenda items. The infrastructure bill of 1.2 trillion, the reconciliation stimulus bill of 3.5, which is getting cut down at this time significantly, and people are asking, is there gonna be a stimulus check, unemployment extensions, child tax credits, at this time, Congress is working away on the provisions, and we have Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema that are the ones, the Democratic moderates, calling for less provisions, saying they're concerned about debt, inflation, and an entitlement society. So right now, for additional provisions that are not in there, such as the stimulus checks and unemployment extensions, it's not looking good for those, but you never know until it's actually signed into law. We've seen them slipped in in the past, literally days before signed by the president. So you guys, we're gonna be seeing, but right now they're working away on this and now we're hearing the child tax credit is possibly gonna be modified as well. Now they're working away on that, but we already received confirmation from President Joe Biden that whatever doesn't make it into this stimulus bill due to the negotiations taking place, there's gonna be another stimulus reconciliation bill coming in 2022. And he said, whatever we don't get in this one, we're gonna fight to get in the next one. So there is gonna be another follow-up one. Now, in addition to that, as you've seen in my previous videos, we're also trying to avoid a government shutdown coming December 3rd, and also a US default if they do not increase the debt ceiling by December 3rd as well. So right now, Congress is working away, and one of the provisions that's now in the chopping block is the child tax credit. And I'm gonna get you caught up as to what they're saying right now. So link in the description below to this Business Insider article that just came out that says, Senator Joe Manchin is demanding Biden's child tax credit come with an income cap around 60,000 and 
and a work requirement. Now, the article says, as Democrats continue to negotiate over the marquee social spending package, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia is digging in on child tax credits, demanding a work requirement and a family income cap of around 60,000, sources say. Now, the credit was initially expanded for a year for President Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan back in March, with Manchin's support and no work requirement. Now, under the measure, most families are eligible for monthly payments of $250 or $300 per child per month. Now, single parents and two-parent families who made up to $112,500 and $150,000, respectively, were eligible for the full credit under the plan. Manchin's income cap proposal would cut the number of families who qualify for the federal cash, fulfilling one of his key priorities to restrict eligibility for fresh government assistance to lower income households. A strong majority of congressional Democrats are lobbying to make the child tax credit permanent as it helps millions of families pay for basic necessities like housing, health care, child care and education. A Columbia University study from August found that under the American Rescue Plan, the first child tax credit payment in July lifted approximately 3 million children out of poverty. And we saw from Pramila Jayapal, leader of the Progressive Caucus in the House of Representatives, take a look, you guys, putting money in people's pockets works. It's time to make the child tax credit permanent. Still, Manchin argues that without a work requirement attached to the credit, our society and economy will develop an entitlement mentality. In September, he told CNN's Dana Bash, tying the credit to parents with jobs to ensure assistance was provided to the right people. Now, an analysis released last week by researchers from the Center of Poverty and Social Policy at Columbia University found that the credit had statistically insignificant impacts on job seeking and workforce participation. The child tax credit program is just one of the policies facing cuts in the proposed $3.5 trillion social spending bill as Democrats in Congress try to win over centrist Manchin and Kirsten Cinema. Reports say now House Democrats are eyeing renewing the revamped child tax credit until 2025. So they want to extend this out for an additional four years, maintaining a bulked up benefit for four more years and locking in the credit's ability to be issued as monthly payments to the vast majority of American families. Previously, the credit structure barred families with low or no tax bills from tapping into the full amount. It has a price tag of $556 billion, or a quarter of the potentially $2 trillion sum that Biden pitched as a compromise last month to cut corners and save on costs. Senate Democrats are weighing a shorter extension until 2024. So that's the latest news coming out just this morning on an additional stimulus provision that's going to get cut. And we're hearing that this was one that actually we thought was probably going to be safe. And now there is no stimulus provision that is safe currently with Senator Joe Manchin, you guys, as he is wanting to cut this down significantly. And we're hearing that the current timeline that the House has put in place to try to get this done is October 31st. That's when they want this all taken care of, but we're hearing Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema. they've said there's no timeline. We're going to get it done when we get it done, when we are happy with the agreement. So you guys, we will see October 31st is the arbitrary deadline set in place right now for stimulus and infrastructure. However, December 3rd is a serious deadline because that's when that stopgap measure, that measure for the debt ceiling increase is going to be coming to an end. And the only way to get it done if Republicans do not help out or they don't remove the debt ceiling altogether is to include it in the stimulus reconciliation bill. So they really have to get it done by December 3rd. So you guys, I'll be sure to keep you up to speed here on the channel, let you know everything that's unfolding. I know there's a lot, but I'll be sure to keep you up to date. And with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. Helps out the channel a ton. Leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.